Welcome to a Silicon Lightning Talk. My name is Anshtan Resem uh, and I'm a Principal Software Systems Engineer at Rust Media, uh, where I work in the Vespa team. And in this talk, we'll look at um, how we use Screwdriver for CI CD to reduce the time spent on builds and progress by 75%. So what is Vespa? It's an uh, open big data serving engine where you can serve your big data and generate responses in milliseconds at any scale with any traffic volume. Common use cases for this uh, are text search, recommendation and personalization, um, question answering, semi structured navigation and more. So uh, Vespa is fully open sourced, available at Vespa AI. And we also have a hosted uh, cloud service with a free trial at uh, Cloud Vespa AI. The Vespa code base was open sourced in 2017 under the Apache uh, license 2.0, and uh, the repository and the code is available at the link in, the, in this page. So we have approximately equal amounts of C and uh, Java code. Uh, about 700,000 lines of each and we have a extended test suite with uh, 10, uh, more than 10,000 uh, unit tests. It's an active repository with more than 4,000 per requests per year being merged into the mass branch and uh, all of the, these pull requests are uh, peer reviewed. So when we build Vespa, we build a complete code base, uh, always built from the master branch and don't have any feature branches. For the C++ code, we use uh, CMake and GCC, and for the Java code, we use Maven and, uh, and OpenJDK. The current build and runtime platforms are CentOS or Red Hat um, Enterprise Linux 7. So we have plans for uh, supporting 8 as well, but uh, that will come later. So what we used to have, uh, we had a pipeline at a commercial vendor with uh, predefined VMs with uh, 4 vCPUs, 15 gigabytes of RAM and 5 parallel executors and a cache for uh, Maven uh, repositories and C++ objects. So this took uh, 50 minutes to compile and test and we got some feedback that this was uh, taking too long to get feedback, especially on the pull requests. So, um, we being in uh, Verizon Media, where also the screwdriver team is, uh, is we got access to a CD, screwdriver CD hosted instance. And on the right hand side is the sign in that you get if you go to that page. So you can sign in with GitHub or you can sign in with guest access. The guest access will give you read-only access to everything that's in there. And uh, the signing with GitHub, which is currently invite-only, gives you access to create pipelines. So we created a pipeline and uh, filled in the form on the lower right uh, here. And created our Vespa pipeline. So uh, to get a functional pipeline, you need a screwdriver YAML file, you need a, a container image, which on screwdriver is, uh, is great, has great flexibility in, in the way that you can define your build image, only curl and open SSH are required. So we used our Vespa build CentOS 7 image. We use uh, seven vCPUs and 16 gigabytes of RAM and we just reused our build script. So on the right hand side here you can see the screwdriver YAML with some pieces uh, cut out to get uh, the overview of that file. I'm not going to go any further into that one here. So we did some other things as well. Uh, the job cache which consists of uh, a lot of small files in our case, C++ objects and uh, Maven artifacts. We used uh, tar to avoid uh, the uh, download and upload of many small files that speeded up things. Uh, we also added uh, some logic to sort, short circuit uh, the pull request builds based on the language. So that if a pull request only contains Java code, we compile and test that to speed up things. 
And uh, we also added a possibility to run uh, int integration tests as part of, as part of the pull request build, uh, which means that we install Vespa and uh, do an integration test on the whole system with some basic tests. So some of the results, uh, we got um, GitHub checks in place. This is, comes automatically with Screwdriver. So here is a pull request uh, with checks. So you see that the screwdriver uh, has built Vespa and uh, states that everything looks good. So this can be merged. Uh, on the screwdriver pipeline uh, for the Vespa projects, we have only uh, one job that is building Vespa. And uh, the events uh, PR and commit that, uh, that feeds into it. There's a small pipeline, but this might be extended by us uh, at a later point in time. So, for the build times, uh, we were able to complete a build on the master branch in 18 minutes, compiling uh, both uh, C++ and Java code. For uh, pull requests with a single language contents, uh, 8 minutes for Java and 12 minutes for C++. And we see the comparison on the right hand side here where we started off with uh, 50 minutes and uh, we are able to, for Java, uh, come in at 8 minutes, which is great for the developers uh, submitting pull requests. The screwdriver, we can also uh, see the a metric view of the build times over a, a selectable period of time. So here we see it for the, the build Vespa job. So we have some spikes here, but that's uh, queuing on the waiting for uh, screwdriver executors. But uh, other than that, it looks uh, good. So uh, in conclusion, uh, we had a great reduction in request build times. And that is very important for uh, developers getting feedback fast and being able to, to merge and merge the changes and uh, uh, start on uh, new pull requests. Uh, and Screwdriver was a good fit for us. Uh, we really liked the, the full flexibility uh, with the respect to the job images, where you can prepare a lot up front and only require curl and open SSH to be installed. It's very configurable in terms of uh, v, uh, vCPU and RAM, so that you can tune it for your, your purposes. And the job cache is uh, crucial to, to speed up build times, caching uh, Maven downloads and also C++ objects. Nice view of the build times in the, in the metrics view. And that uh, makes it easy to see if something has deter deteriorated over time. Uh, and uh, keep an eye on that. It's also possible to use uh, Docker in um, jobs for integration testing, and we we'll plan to leverage that uh, going forward. So, uh, if you have any more uh, questions and or follow-ups, uh, please feel free to reach out to me uh, in the contact information on this uh, page. Thank you for your attention.